Your bacon is the best I've had. Seven days for this one, and you should be ready for smoke. I'm gonna try this bacon and see if it's smoked enough. I think the consensus is we're gonna call them. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. This one's darker because this is my double smoke. Double smoked on the left and single one. smoked on the right. But they both look good. Okay folks, this is uh, my younger brother Trevor. And he's a chef in his own right. He gave me some bacon the other day that he makes himself from uh, pork belly. It's the best bacon, so if you get a chance, try this recipe. So Trev, what, what do we got? We got about a kilogram of pork belly here. I trimmed it up a little bit. It's so simple to make bacon. It's salt and sugar and thyme. Smoke at the end. I'm going to put my bowl on my scale and I'm going to measure out what I already know. Wrote the numbers down. We want 20, 20 grams of salt for this one based on its weight. I do about a Two and a half percent salt. See, it went over. It's, it it's, it's not. Perfect. It doesn't have to be an exact science. You you want to be if you're going to err. In my opinion, you're going to err on the high side. Okay. So I got these numbers from somebody who is called the Bacon Wizard. The Bacon Wizard. The Bacon Wizard. Well, I think you're the wizard too <laughs> because your bacon is the best I've had, and trust me, it is. So you're going to want to try this at home. Put in about 16 of the sugar for this piece of meat. So it's about one, one and a half percent oh, that's sugar. Too much. 21. That's good. It's inexact. <laughs> okay, well. It's inexact. That's, that's it's like it my marinades. They're never exactly the same every time I There's a very famous bacon company called Benton's. Mm -hmm. And they, they mix their salt and sugar just on a tray and they just rub the pork belly on it. Very inexactly, it's not measured for each piece. Mm -hmm. And they're said to have the best bacon basically in the world. So, okay. uh, I, I think there's yours. room. Next <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure theirs is better than mine, but <laughs> I haven't tried it to find out yet. Okay. Uh, so, we're ready to go. Okay. We got our sugar, our salt mixture. We're gonna put it on here. Now what I like to do, since this has to sit in a bag, for this size of piece is gonna sit for seven days before you smoke it. I like to put it in the bag first. If we salt it and sugar it on the board here, I find it scrapes off when we're trying to slide it into the bag. Okay. So I personally okay. put it in the bag first. Well, get your bag and you're just gonna put it in there. Put it in like so. I do it like this. Any areas like this, I just try and scrape it out. Otherwise, you get what's called hot spots, really salty spots. Wow! Salt. <laughs> right. So just any little folds where it collects more than we really want, I brush it out of those areas. Okay. And the sides. And then, like you said, this one, because of weight, about seven days. Yeah, so the bigger ones that you saw earlier, those went about 10, 12 days. For me, this one's a little bit smaller, so the, according to the math, we do about two to three days per pound. Okay. So being the size of this one, math works out to about seven days for this one, and you should be okay. ready for smoke. Well, that'll give me lots of time to build a smoker. That's right. <laughs> the color on the single smoke sure looks nice. Well, they both look good. I just like a little bit of movement in there. I don't want, because this is going to create a liquid. Mm -hmm. It's going to pull the moisture out of that piece of meat and it's going to be around it before it starts on its migrating back in. As I said, that's a personal preference. I, I just like the room for the liquid to be able to move around. Mm -hmm. 
So, yep. There we go. Okay. Ready to go. Okay. Now all we need is time. Seven days in my homemade smoker. And then I'm going to invite some people to try this bacon and we'll uh, do a taste test. It would be awesome. So as I was saying to you, Greg, mm -hmm. you're going to smoke this, yours, for four hours minimum, I would suggest. Meat tends to take smoke for about four hours. But the bacon, the, the Benton's people, they, they smoke for three days. Mm -hmm. They're smoking this piece of meat for three days. They do uh, a cold smoke, so it never gets about 130 degrees, I think the numbers is. It doesn't get above that, I believe. Okay, none of our stuff gets above 130 degrees. You're gonna be inexact over top of the fire. Yep. I don't know if you're gonna use a thermometer or what you're gonna do. Voy a la playa, ya subió la marea. But it's gonna work out. It'll work either, out. Either way, I get mine up to 150, and that's where I stop. But let's cut into this piece. Let's just have a yeah, look what the inside of this thing looks like. See that nice firm texture? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Man, this looks good. It smells good too. Oh, it's just it's Fantastic. awesome, you guys. You gotta try this. So You're gonna love it. We uh, and it's easier than people think. And it's way better than the stuff that we get access to. It. It, it's it's way better than store-bought. I ate the bacon uh, that Trevor cooked the other day, and it's the best bacon I've ever had. So that's why we want to do this video for you. And do it on a fire, because like I say, anything you can do at home, you can do on a fire. Not even kidding. And this is going to work perfect over the fire. Right on. First night out with my little buddy. Um, tomorrow I'm going to smoke up the bacon. Probably just use a tarp and smoke the bacon. It's been uh, about eight days, so got to get that done. I don't want it to go bad, but uh, we'll get the bacon finished. And uh, this will be nice. Night with the dog. We'll stay in the truck, of course, but uh, he's going to be doing a lot of camping. Good boy. Bear! Bear! Just kidding. So anyway, uh, we had a lot of suggestions on names for the pup, and um, I think the consensus is we're going to call him Finley for a couple of reasons. Um, that's where I've spent most of the last 10 years is up the Finley Creek Valley, and uh, a lot of the viewers uh, seem to like that name. A lot of my friends, even Zach, like that name. Thanks for your input on names. <laughs> Some of the comments were pretty funny, but thanks. Uh, we're gonna go with Finley. Finley it is. Say hi, Finley. Say hi. And thanks to uh, Abby and Sparrow, Zach's daughters. Uh, Abby picked Hunter for her name. That's a very good name, Abby. And Sparrow picked Bush. And that's a good name too, Sparrow. Thank you for uh, giving those names to me. Somebody made a comment too. They said, call them Dutch. And then uh, it'll be Dutch ovens, which is pretty funny too. Andrew Erickson, that was the Dutch oven name there. That's pretty funny. So we're going to get the uh, bacon going here. I'm just going to use a tarp. We've got a bit of a breeze. So what I think I can do is put the tarp behind, let the breeze come towards the fire, wrap it and curl it up, and then hang my bacon probably off a piece of wire or something. I'm going to have to keep it stoked for a few hours. We'll see how that's going to work. I think it'll work just fine. So we got to get our fire going and get on smoking this bacon. 
The meat's been sitting a while and I don't want it to go bad, obviously, because this is excellent bacon. We don't want to waste that meat. Okay, so hopefully I can just hang my tarp over here and the breeze will blow the smoke from the fire, which will be here, back into where I want it. You're going to try to help again? Watch the knife. Careful. Careful, buddy. No. That's hot. It's hot. You have to be careful in this wind, too. Okay, so you can see that the tarp is collecting and the smoke's going to the top, coming out the ends. That's all I really need. So I'm going to take my uh, thermometer. <laughs> Put it at each end, try to figure out. My brother says about 150 degrees uh, for about four hours. So. It might not get continual smoke, but it'll get enough smoke up at the peak of the tarp. So I'll put that there and try to find the right spot for the meat. Right on. You're going to love this bacon, man. Well, it's going to be more of a cold smoke than anything. I'm going to keep it up near the peak. Tie it up with a wire. I can't regulate the uh, temperature very well with this wind. And I don't collect smoke the way I want, so I'm probably going to have to smoke it a lot longer than four hours. All right, give her a go. I like to throw axes when I'm sitting around. I got nothing to do, but kill time really right now waiting for that to smoke first shot so the uh the wind is dying down. The smoke's actually collecting up in the top of the tarp where I want it, not blowing in and out. I'm just gonna have to smoke it longer, that's all. So keep the fire going for a few more hours and uh, by morning, we've got some bacon and eggs we'll uh, cook up. Gonna be styling. Oh, that's what I was gonna say, is uh, when you're smoking meats and stuff, you don't want to use woods that have a lot of pitch and throw off that black smoke. You know how sometimes you put a piece of wood on the fire and it's just black smoke. You want grayish blue smoke. And if you've got some green wood, it's good to put near the edges and you'll get a lot more smoke. Um, 
The smoke is collecting good now, so I'm happy with that. And all it is is a tarp on the back, kind of angled down, so it collects near the top where my uh, meat is. That's all it is. Hey. See us. Come. Come. Come on. There. Sit there. Good boy. Finley. What you doing? You gonna help again? Well, I'm gonna teach you how to get sticks. That's what I'm gonna do. Get you fetching uh, the firewood. Finley, come. Sit. Good boy. Your bacon and eggs are ready. Are you in the camera? Well, you love that egg, eh? Holy smokes, might be a little hot still. He likes that egg. Holy, just gone. Oh, I wasn't going to steal it. <laughs> Boy, you wolf that down. Nothing burps better than bacon. 
I'm gonna try this bacon and see if it's smoked enough. Pretty darn good. Not quite as uh, good as Trevor's was. If you're gonna try this recipe, um, you don't have to use a fire like I did. If you've got a smoker, Bradley smoker, little Johnny, whatever you got. But I definitely taste the smoke. The wind wasn't helping me, but it's very good, very good. Try that bacon recipe, it's really, really good. Thanks for watching. And uh, me and Finley will see you on the next one. It's hot. It's hot.